Hello. Today what I'm doing is I'm out here in the woods just walking around. You never know what you may see. I seen a partridge. It was probably about 15 yards away. You see it seeing me and started running through the woods. All of a sudden it flew off. And uh, stuff like that there. I get enjoyment out of seeing you know, wildlife out here. So the reason why I want to do a video is just to show what I'm carrying now. Normally I'll take a small folding saw and my knife while I'm out here. I can do most tasks that I need with those. Right up to taking down three inch trees with my large knife. That's why I like a large knife. This here on my back is my personal survival kit. And it makes for a very good day pack for out here. For just playing around or if I was ever in a survival scenario. So what I've done is I've changed up my cutting tools. Just because I feel that the more you use different tools, the better you get at using any tools. You can use one knife and get very comfortable with that one knife. And that is very good. But, if you throw another knife in some people's hands, it takes them a while to get used to. I've always had cheap crap knives, pretty much, all through my life. But I've gotten some better ones, you know, through the past few years. But I'm able to grab a knife or a tool and use it pretty well right from the get-go. That's because I'm always changing up my cutting tools. Now, it's hard for me to leave the survival bush point at home <laughs> because that has done me so well. It does everything I need out here that I've needed and I really love that knife but just to be different I changed up my gear and I want to share that with you so in this pack that's what I'm using to carry my cutting tools and I have the Baco Laplander for my saw a saw is very valuable to me out here now, I decided to go with the Mora Garberg for a bit. I've been using it a fair bit, and I'm liking it. So, I figured for my carving and fine tasks, up to medium tasks, I can use this. And then, the addition is my hatchet hawk that I have forged. I just put a video out on this. And I'm going to bring this up and show it a little closer. So I got rather lucky that this sheath fits the hatchet hawk. Not perfect, but it works. This one here was from the resourceful redneck hatchet. The sheath. And that is the hawk there. The hatchet hawk. Now like I mentioned before in my video this was dad's hatchet head he used the hatchet it was in his toolbox he's cut everything with this and I decided to make it more useful for me to take it to the forge spread the eye so now I can make a handle quickly from a branch out here if I break this handle because if you had ever had to take the wood out of a head that has a broken handle, it can be a pain. So this way here, I could just knock it out, put another one in rather quickly. So it makes it more useful. And this here <laughs> has been cutting really well. So having... A axe like this I'm going to be able to do the larger tasks take down larger trees and such and it's just something different because I've used hatchets for many years 
but I've been using a large knife more than I have a hatchet. So this here gets a hatchet back in my hand and it's just something different and I wanted to share it with you. Now throughout the ages, many people have carried a set of tools like this, an ax, hatchet, a knife, and then a saw. Now it's been a great combo for many folks. Myself, like I said, I've always just carried, mostly for the past few years, just a large knife and a saw. Sometimes I'll take my buck saw as well, and then the folding saw. But, the folding saw, I've done a lot with that, and a large knife. This here is something different for me, but I'm looking forward to it, because whenever I use this, I think of my dad as well. So, looking forward to it. Thanks for watching. Take care. All the best.